Mm. Right, so we talked about that sort of handshaking to target before with the sort of the smaller movements. This was your backswing, as you can see here now before, which is fine. Again, these are smaller shots. And to some extent, this amount of shoulder turn is going to have a merit in terms of shots we're going to play on the golf course when you want to go shorter distances, okay? So you're going to swing the club a little bit less as we came through. Nice release of the body there, okay? Always turn the body through towards target. And you can see your arms there now. Nice maintenance of width in the arms there. There's no tucking up. And a nice release. Good strike of the golf ball. And down the fair it was going. When you try to go further, there was when the problem arise, okay? So... What we've got to try and do, take this right shoulder and right hip and say, get it behind your head, rotating, but rotating in such a way that we're on an angle. So here we're pretty good. You can see now there's a starting to get to about here. We've rotated nicely. Here now we start getting a little bit of a rise up, as you can see with the spine angle. And this is what causes the head to rise up and the arms to bend. Then people then tell you, which is the two things you don't want to completely ignore, is keep your head down, keep your arms straight, Yeah. What's caused your head to rise and your arms to bend is the inability or the, the poor movement of your body. And your head, believe it or not, is attached to your body, isn't it? So when your body moves out of position, this is going to follow. You try and keep your head down here or keep looking at the ball. It's not going to stay down. Your head is going to rise up. So that's why we have to practice that shoulder movement as it up against the wall there. Getting used to how your shoulders are going to rotate on that angle. And when the shoulders are on a better angle down to the golf ball the arm can maintain more width on the way back, yeah? So we're not trying to keep the arm straight. We're not trying to keep the head down because generally that creates tension because I can't move my head, I can't bend my arm. But if you create tension at setup, trying to keep your head locked and your arm straight, well, lo and behold, now you can't rotate. Well, if you can't rotate, <laughs> your body rises up, your head moves, your arm bends, yeah? So trying to keep your head down, trying to keep your arm straight actually causes it to happen even more. And then you film your swing and your mates go, oh, go on, keep your head down. Keep your... And you try so bloody hard to do it. Tension increases again and again and again. And it's just a vicious circle. So make sure we practice that rotate, I say, up against the wall there. In an ideal world, your head's going to kind of stay under that platform. It's pretty good to about here. It's just probably more that flexibility and I suppose in some ways that awareness of how that feels when you rotate in a different angle. Yeah, you said it did feel quite strange. and In fairness, it would feel a little bit stranger to most golfers. But you can see there that rising up with the head through the line. Now, of course, you've got to come back to the golf ball. If you start dipping down here now, if you dip too much, we might the ground behind the goal. In this case, you dipped it down all right, reasonable strike, and we rotated through to a nice finish, yeah? But the, fade, the feeling or the practice now is going to focus primarily on that right shoulder getting behind you and feeling a little bit higher than the left one, yeah? Don't try and take it behind you and level the shoulders off. Like I say, you want your spine angle to be tilted down towards the ground, okay? It starts off over the goal, but if you think where your spine is here now at this point, if you think about the golfer, I thought we'd do a little uh, version of a stick, man. If we were setting up to a golf ball now, okay, there's kind of your spine angle. There's your legs, your arms around the club. As you rotate, you want to be rotating around that axis there, yeah? If your shoulders here, that yellow, the red line here represents your shoulders, you rotate, you want to stay on that. What you did, you leveled them off, yeah? So when you leveled them off, now you're further from the ground. So you've got to do something on the way down in that quarter of a second, third of a second to find the ball. It gets very difficult to do that, yeah? Does that make sense, yeah? Yeah, definitely. Good. That last one, I've got to say, was probably the best I've seen you at, to be fair. So as much as a very small sample size, yeah, the more we can repeat that. And again, you're not hitting it further by hitting it harder. You're just swinging it more and creating more speed, yeah? So you turn your body more. When you try to hit the ball further with this position, the way you turn back, you just sort of collapsed everything and, and stood up on it. So, okay. okay so better, better rotation with that spine angle. Like I say, use that club. Stick out your left shoulder here. Now put a golf ball on the ground you're going to set to and then an object that's two or three feet in front of you and then rotate down so that stick points towards the object over here yeah there's your golf ball there but you want your shoulders to point down there okay okay yeah no, good man no very good man